Oh, you hear that? That is loud. You want to stick this, your tooth right up against that? Nothing. No, okay, I don't no. want to do that. God, it's like we're three famous guys. You're Curly, I'm Larry, you're Mo. Is that right? No. No, you don't know those guys. Well, I know they're from the Three Stooges. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're not the Three Stooges. We're the Three Wizards. Yep. I'm Wizards. You're Wizards in training, right? Yep. Hey, I've got a really neat activity. What do we call this thing? Howling Rod. The Howling Rod. This is old. I mean, all the Wizards have done this thing, a variation of it. You're going to experience resonance here in just a few minutes, and I want you to tell me when it occurs. So I want you to imagine you're in the backyard and you're on a swing, and your brother gives you a shove, right? Yeah. And if you give him enough shoves, what does he do? Swing all the way around. Yeah, swing all the way around and go off to... You have to push him just at the right time, don't you? Yeah. If you push him too soon, what would happen? Foot. <laughs> Smack you, right? And if you waited too late, he'd go right on by and you'd miss him. But if he's swinging back and you put your hands on the back and you go at the right... <sighs> and if you keep doing that each time, he's going to build up... Speed. Speed. He's going to go farther each time and you're resonating with him. You're giving him a resonance frequency. Well, we're gonna to try to demonstrate that by getting the atoms and molecules inside this aluminum rod. And about this long, something that you can handle easily. You can do it with any length, but if it gets too short, the noise you make is too high to control. So I get one about, what is that, about four foot long. Need some steel wool and some rosin. That's all you need. A little specialty piece at the end, I'm gonna take this little shallow glass right here and I'm gonna pour some water in it just to have a very shallow pool of water. I'm going to try to build up a resonance wave inside this aluminum rod and get the sound waves to go back and forth. big, back. And then in order to see it, I wanna stick that rod as it's resonating into the water, because you can't really see the rod vibrating when we make a sound, but you'll be able to see its effect on the water. When we build up a standing wave in here, he'll be traveling several hundred cycles per second. Now, in order to get this to ring, I could hit it once with my finger, and then I could hit it again, and hit it faster, and faster, 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 faster. That's gonna hurt after a while. But there's a way I can hit it real fast, is I'm just gonna slide my skin down there after I put some rosin on it. We want your skin, the skin on your fingers, to grab and let go, grab and let go, grab and let go, but do it real fast, and it'd be just like slapping that thing, getting it vibrate, go. And we should be able to build up a nice standing wave in here. I use a steel wool to clean this off every once in a while, just to get the cheese off of there and the oxide from the aluminum oxide and oil, skin oils or whatever's on there. And now I'm gonna put some rosin on my fingers, some powdered rosin. I'm gonna find the balance point, and that means there's just as much mass on this side as there is over there. Got equal mass. Does that make, are you with me on that? Yes, sir. Because I got the balance point side. A method for quickly finding the center of mass is take, just put the stick on two fingers and slide them together like this, and they will meet there on their own. You don't even have to think about it. They meet right there. That gets you close. And that's where you want to pinch it. And you have to be careful that it doesn't, you know, touch your other fingers or other parts of your hand. You try to pinch it. So just touch right there. We call that a node. So if I can stroke this side just right, I can get that side to vibrate. Now I can do it too hard, doesn't work. Do it too soft, it doesn't work. But... Oh, you hear that? That is loud. You want to stick this, your tooth right up against that? Nothing. No, okay, I don't no. want to do that. And you can actually feel the sound wave vibrating in front of your skin as you go down. I hope I won't be deaf after this. You won't. Isn't that amazing? You know what's fun to do is to take, I did this, I got in trouble. When I was teaching, I went to church, did it for the sound man. I sat at the back and he was adjusting the thing and I'd make this squeal a little bit and he'd cry, what's going on? Or do this late at night on Halloween outside. What's that noise? Is it, is it a black cat? Is it a ghost? Well, there it is. It's, a, it's a screaming banshee. Well, in a second though, and what we're gonna try to do well, you can't see it vibrate because it's happening so fast. But I'm going to get this thing howling, and then I'm going to stick it right down here. We'll see if we can photo. It's going to be hard to catch it. But I'm going to stick the tip in there when it's vibrating, and if we can get that water to uh, show us that vibration, it's really kind of cool.
You had it there for a second. You almost had that. I got a question for the two of you. Just stop just for a second. I got okay. a question for you, right? Mm -hmm. Now these, these have different masses. They weigh different, right? Yep. Yeah. Is the heavier rod going to be higher or lower pitch, would you lower. think? Lower. And why would you say that? Now, right here? Because when you have, like on a piano string, yeah. the, the thicker ones, the thicker ones are, lower. are lower. Yeah, well, because why they would vibrate, they be lower? Because they vibrate slower. Why would they vibrate slower? Because there's more mass for the vibrations to travel through. Okay. I'm going to go lay down. Uh, that's pretty good, buddy. Because when you stroke this thing, you're adding a certain amount of energy. And if that amount of energy has more molecules to hit, they're not going to be able to move as much. Somebody will get this thing. We might be here all day, but somebody's going to, going to try. They're going to find it. Okay, that was good. That scared me to death. Thank you for that. I appreciate Sorry. that. Oh, oh, was that you? Yes. Oh, oh, listen to this. Oh, we have it now. The man has his arm down now. He's got it. Well, now you've seen the activity, and this will drive you insane. It will drive you insane. Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh, you, you got see it. That? Did yes, you see I that? saw that. Wow. I saw that. You saw that, and it's vibrating fast, isn't it? Yes. Hundreds of times a second. Uh -huh. Hundreds of times. Ooh! You got that. That made a screecher. Wow. I threw water everywhere. That was a special moment. I saw your face light up when you got that thing finally to ring on its own. You think you'll remember that? Yeah. I had a moment. Take your hand like this. I had a moment. I had a, I had a, moment. I had a moment today in the science I class. Crazy. I made the rod sing. We'll keep at it. Thanks for joining us. Everybody in the school is going to hate you the day you do this activity. <laughs>